Chris, uh, I thought you had an aerobics class on Thursdays. I did. I mean, I do. Uh, so, like, how did the interview go for your little dream job? I was late. You wore that? I went to a funeral service earlier this morning. Lame excuse, Henry. Yeah, well... You realize your fly's open. So, who croaked? Bill Morgenstein. Who? The old blind man that lived next door. What's he got to do with you? I used to play Parcheesi with him the first Sunday of every month. He once told me... Henry, it's, it's what, what you can do, do for others that makes you happy. It was an amazing rainbow that day. Too bad he couldn't see it. Get your head out of the clouds, Henry. You've been laid off for like a whole month now. How do you expect to buy a nice car? A house or, God forbid, take me out for a crispy chicken dinner at the Golden Rooster. Hey, it's Henry. Leave a message. Attorney Christopher Jacobs here with the firm Goldberg, Iceberg, Hindenburg. Just kidding. I should really get that. Henry, I have something to tell you. Are you listening to me, Henry? You're listed as the sole beneficiary of Bill Morgenstein's estate. Chris, he's just a blind man with a cat. Pookie Bear, you can finally take me to Hawaii! <laughs> Where are you going, Pookie? I've got another interview. Oh, uh, I think I'll go get a bikini waxing. <laughs> I forgot your spare key. What the heck is all this? I bought a few things. A few things? You went ballistic. But Pookie, I got something for you too. Christmas socks? I got them on sale. But it's March. Like, all the money we're inheriting? What's the difference? Priscilla, can you stay at your own apartment tonight? Don't tell me what to do, Henry. <laughs> I, I really like to work on my resume. Fine. I'll see you tomorrow at nine o'clock. Hmm. Uh oh. missing a Y. Oh, well, I got a little hungry on the way over. Oh my god, Henry! It's the liar! Jacobs, attorney at law. CPA, BBA, AA, just ask the ex-wife. <laughs> you must be Henry Johnson. Uh, yes, sir, uh, I am. Oh, well, who's this lovely daffodil? Uh, uh, this is Priscilla, my, my girlfriend. Did I mention justice of the peace, huh? Oh, anywho, uh, regarding Bill Morgenstein, Bill wanted you to have uh, this. Zucchini carrots condoms. Ah, yes, uh, here we are. 
Henry, I'm offering Gatsby to you. Thanks for saving his life and helping me out when I was sick. Your friend, Bill. Gatsby? His cat. There I was, hanging out the laundry. It could have been number nine if it wasn't for me. Who cares about a stupid cat? Um, all this is saying here is that the party of the first party, along with the second party, in conjunction with the third party, is going to have one hell of a rager. Huh? You bring the women, I bring the dip. Will you just get on with it? Tell you what. Let's say me, you, and this one here get in a jacuzzi and talk it all over. Just kidding. Henry, I have a check here from Bill's savings account for $9,999.02. That's it? Sir, I want to donate that money anonymously to- Henry? Pris, I know what I'm doing. But Henry? Uh, Mr. Johnson, if you just let me clear up a couple of details. To St. Zorn's Run for the Blind. All the information's in there. St. Zorn's? I never understood why they had to run for the blind, with potholes and running into walls and whatnot. Can you just shut up for a second, Henry? What are you thinking? Bill would have been happy if I helped someone less fortunate. Screw Bill. My panties saved that damn cat. Mm, big and feisty. I like that. You. I want my money. Chris! Yeah. You've got to get your suitcase that you packed underneath my bed and get your fat ass out of here. You better mean fat with a PH. A lot of men would kill for this. There is a real firecracker. Mr. Johnson, I don't think you understand. Gatsby was no ordinary cat. How's that? He's a celebrity in Japan, famous for his furball delight cat food commercials. Oh, uh, Japan? Yes. And as sole guardian with full custody of Gatsby, you're entitled to the whole kit and caboodle. The kitty's kitty, if you know what I mean. Yes, sir, a million dollar pussy. A million dollars? Hot dog! Wow. I wonder what it would take to start up a charitable foundation for the blind. Foundation? You'll need someone to run that. Did I mention I used to manage a nightclub in Rio and- That's okay. I'll run it. Thank <laughs> you.